Well, according to UNICEF, the number of refugees arriving in Greece in the third quarter of this year was 60% higher than for the same period in 2020. This week, the Greek migration minister, along with the interior minister, met with Turkish officials in Ankara to discuss this migration crisis. And the Greek migration minister, Notis Mitarici, joins me now from Athens. You heard CNN's reporting there. What, what's your response to what you heard, sir? Thank you, Becky. First of all, Greece has provided safe harbour to over one million people. This is 10% of our country's population in the last seven years. You are discussing a major challenge that affects the whole world. And Europe needs to act. We need to act and provide legal pathways to the European Union for people in need. And Greece has done so considering the last few years. At the same time, there are smuggling networks that are making money out of people's misery. The EU and Turkey have signed an agreement in 2016. And Turkey has undertaken to prevent all illegal departures from right. Turkey. Greece is willing to help. And recently, last month, we took 700 people from Afghanistan. They flew with humanitarian visas. We took female members of parliament, female judges, female advocates, people that are at risk in, in Afghanistan. So we're very much willing to help. But we shouldn't allow the smugglers to decide who gets to live in Europe. I understand. Do you deny that Greek coastal guards illegally pushed back asylum seekers into Turkish waters? Absolutely. We do protect our borders. There are European regulations that tell us what is allowed to do. And I have to tell you that the latest judgment from the European Court of Human Rights in the case against Spain said that countries do have the right to protect their borders. It found in favor of Spain when it was protecting their borders in Thelusia. Okay. Now, the latest report that came out, and that's very important, Becky, the latest report that came out against Greece, I said that it has to be investigated. So I wrote to the authors of this report, asking them to produce hard evidence and witnesses, they replied in writing that they refused to do so. So they're not helping us investigate. Okay, do you deny what you've, what you've seen and heard in CNN's reporting? I didn't see it. I didn't have a picture. I was just hearing some sounds. So I don't know the videos you are referring to. But the latest one that came out officially, we asked for the evidence to be delivered to the competent authorities. We have three layers of independent monitoring mechanisms that are there to ensure compliance to the border code. And we're waiting for this evidence to be delivered. So there will be an investigation. Absolutely, Greece is fully committed to the protection of the fundamental rights of the European Union. Yesterday, the European Parliament Libe Committee was here in Athens. We discussed exactly that. Mm. We were, um, we were um, uh, feeding that package into your ear, that report into your ear, and I was hoping that, that, that you were hearing enough of it to be able to respond I did hear some, but specifically. And we will, cert we will certainly make sure it, that you it hear very... uh, it properly after this um, programme, if indeed you weren't able to hear it specifically, because I but did want you I'm to respond specifically Becky, to CNN's reporting. I'm not an you are being accused are of pushing back refugees, an act that is sure illegal that under the everything. EU's... OK. You, you, you are... listen, Greece no, no, is being listen. accused of, 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 of illegal action. Becky, sorry. Let me, let me, let me just put my question to you. Let me put my question to you and, and I'll get you to respond. Yes. The, this is illegal under the EU's Human Rights Convention, as well as the international humanitarian law, in fact. The, head of the European Parliament Civil Liberties uh, Committee, as you say, just visited Greek, uh, Greece this week. I'm going to pull up a photo of the two of you uh, at a press conference where he echoed Absolutely. those statements. Um, so, again, do, do you deny the allegations? It is a very simple question, sir. Yes. I do deny the allegations that we have violated any law. We are protecting our borders. There are European regulations that say exactly what we're allowed to do and what we're not allowed to do. And since you mentioned international law, I come back to tell you that the latest ruling of the European Court of Human Rights does not fully agree that there is no right of sovereign states to protect their borders. So international law is something everybody uses as a phrase. There are specific things that are allowed and things that are not allowed. And what I'm telling you is Greece protects its borders as we are allowed and we don't do anything against the law and if there are any specific All allegation right. we have promised that our independent authorities will investigate because we want to be absolutely certain that there is no ex that nothing ever that is done in violation of the fundamental rights which we fully respect but i come back to you what i said originally that the eu has signed an agreement with turkey and turkey must prevent 
every legal departure of every dinghy from Turkey's soil. Turkey is not a country in war. It's a safe country. There is no war in Turkey, and people, they are not fleeing Turkey. People that have arrived in Turkey do have a sufficient level of protection. So when people say that people are fleeing Turkey, this is the wrong phrase to use. People are choosing to leave Turkey to get a better future in the European Union. And I don't say they shouldn't. We should allow people to come to Europe, but they should come with more open programs. And Greece is in the line of countries in the European Union advocating for more right. humanitarian visas, for more legal access to the European market. We gave this year 55,000 work visas. We are welcoming people to come to work in Greece. We welcome people in need to come and seek protection in Greece, but not through the smugglers, Becky. That's the big issue. And the European Union agrees with me. And the latest European Council said that we should make sure that no country weaponizes migration and smugglers do not get away with it. Sir, um, I wish we had more time to speak. Apologies, your, your um, sure uh, shot uh, froze for us. I'm sure we will. Um, and I invite you back onto the show. Your shot froze for about 10 or 15 seconds, but we did hear what you were uh, saying all the way through. So thank you very much indeed for joining us. And I, I would like to have you on again because I do have a number of other questions uh, for you. We've run out of time as of uh, today. Um, many of these asylum seekers in our reporting and in uh, other reports uh, are, of course, from Afghanistan. Some of them are literally trapped on an island, unable to go back to their home for fear, of course, of the Taliban and unable to enter Europe because countries won't take them and um, we will continue to do this story at this point we will uh, take a very short break back after this